Hey, what up, y'all? So, we ain't miss and shooting Grace Flicks, right? We have this uh, this game that we play on Grace Flicks called It Goes Down in the DM. So, a lot of you guys that send us DMs, we actually do answer y'all DMs on Grace Flicks. Be sure to subscribe. It's currently 50% off, too. When you go to checkout, go to the link in the bottom, you go to checkout, use the discount, co use the discount code GOLD. But that's not what I want to talk to y'all about, right? So, I've got multiple DMs, and I want to address this. Where... Young men, old men, old dusty ass niggas, whatever you are, they'll jump in my comments or my DM and they'll be like, damn bro, she getting all the money out of you. She getting all of this. Just basically alluding to the fact that our relationship is built off materialism. When in fact, uh, when it comes to materialism, the only thing that she's ever spoken about in terms of me is me schooling her on how to open a trust, or me uh, uh, assisting her at the bank, sending a wire to China, things of that nature, right? But I wanna say this. So, to the little and the big fellas that have this type of mindset, a couple points I want to make. I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible. First of all, some of you are functioning from such, a, from such a low frequency, and you think so little of yourself that you think the only way to acquire a beautiful woman of your dreams is through materialism. Well, I'm here to tell you, right, bro, your dollar only going to spend but so much. Nigga, you could be a lame with bread. So, I want to tell you, like, if you, if you saw the true value in yourself, you would recognize that money is an additive. Nigga, are you thorough? Can you teach? Can you protect your old lady? Can you guide your old lady? Can she entrust that you have her best, that you have her best interest? Nigga, are you trustworthy? Those are all the things that you should prioritize before you even thinking money. And number two, I'm gonna Thank tell you, you, the reason why so many of you think you gotta have bread to get an attractive woman is because you niggas don't bring nothing else to the table. You niggas have no intangibles. All you niggas know is tangibles. And I'm not knocking you. I can't relate because I never was you. My pops didn't raise me like that. He raised me that bread was, a, was an additive and was an extra. Are you solid and are you thorough is what comes priority. Lastly, my nigga, if you got a bag, you should invest in your partner. So we've done things to the, to, uh, up to this date where she has a, 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 a corporation in her likeness. Or... On the back end, it's, just, it's stuff that I don't want to share with y'all yet, but I'm investing in on the back end for her to make sure. And she hate when I say this, right? But just telling you my real life. Every time I do some shit and I give her some game or I pour something into her, whether it be money or info, I always say, you know, just in case I'm not here or I'm not around. And her response always is, don't talk like that. But nigga, we cut different. See, we don't educate the women we deal with to a level of control just as long as we at the top of that motherfucker. We actually educate educate them to a level they can surpass us. Again, you niggas think so little of yourself, you scared to invest more bread into your old lady than you are yourself because you spook that she gonna surpass you and not need your ass. That's where you niggas fall inadequate. That's where y'all slipping. That's why you niggas think it take money because you so openly concerned if she match your money and get more than you, then you're no longer important. But nigga, when you're sharp up here, you know the money just an additive. You know you're going to be a big dog whether she got a hundred million and you got two or whether she got a hundred houses and you got none. So, fellas, focus on those three things. And I'm speaking at you from a place of love and a place of education. Bro, stop thinking so little of yourself that you think you got to have all that extra bullshit on. Buy from some niggas that don't care about you anyway to look cool to appease a woman. And lastly, bro, stop being so insecure about your situation that you scared to invest more bread into your old lady. Uh, then you are yourself because you scared she's going to be a bigger dog than you are. But I just wanted to clear that up. Uh, yeah, bro, she do get whatever from me. Absolutely. Because if you care about a motherfucker, you're not going to just equip them for their time being with you. That's called instant gratification. You just want them to be cool as long as they're hanging with you. You're going to equip them to the point where whether they with you, with Bruce down the street, or Leroy from Arizona, they straight and they well off. You niggas got to get out your own way. And, and yes, I will admit Whatever the fuck she be asking for, I'm going to make it happen. Or I'm going to educate her and put her in a position. If she can't do it on her own, will I give her that piggyback so she can make sure it happen? Absolutely. Shit, I was going to say something, but you you did your thing. Thank you. I, I had to clear that. You know, niggas, keep, yeah. niggas watch too many rap videos. <laughs> Bro, I'm smart. You feel me? I know some of y'all niggas think money is a priority. But nigga, you don't get money if you're not smart. It's the smart niggas who really win it. Because we know how to get money, articulate, and do a gang of other shit. You niggas just know how to handle cashier money. That shit ain't popping. That shit ain't what it is. 